SoloStats video lets you see the stats that you captured using the SoloStats app. Every stat entry from your game is collected into a single large database of actions that can be linked to video. Here's an example of an opposite making a kill. SoloStats video allows you to control exactly what you want to see. Let's watch the libero making a receive error to understand what happened. We're selecting receive under the errors column and we'll go to players and select just the libero. We'll switch over to the results column and click that action. Watch the serve. Now you see that it wasn't a bad pass but a judgment error. To get started you'll need to set up your camera. The easiest thing to do is to put your camera on a tripod at the back of the court. Make sure you can see your players and the opposing team. It's best to get a parent to help with the video shoot since you'll be busy coaching. Once your camera is set up and running, it's time to capture stats with solo stats. Every stat that you capture will be indexed and linked to the video that you shoot. Here's an ace serve. Enter that data. Once you've finished all your statting, press the Upload All button to upload your stats to our server. Next, you need to move your videos from your camera to your computer. Here I insert the SD card into my computer. Now it's time to upload your videos to YouTube. If you don't have an account, it's easy and takes a minute or two. Press the Upload button and select the videos from the SD card or your camera if it's tethered. Press OK and the upload begins. It's best to do this before bedtime since it takes a while. Once your uploads are complete, label the video so that you can find it easily and change the access to unlisted. Then go to Share and copy the URL for the video. Open SoloStats and go to the Setup tab. This is the Select Game page. Select SCVA Game 1 Stats. Next click on Sync Video and click the plus sign to add a video. Paste the URL from YouTube. Let the video run until the end of the first action and pause it. Find the matching action on the list. We just saw the opponent hit the ball out, so it's a spike error. Click the sync button on the action row. Next click the play button on the second row, which is another opponent spike error, to see if the synchronization is working. It looks good. Now we need to see if the video covered the entire game. Scroll down and see that the check marks stop before the end of the stats. Let's add a second video. Watch the video for the next action, which is our player making a kill. Looks like the ball went off the block, so it's a kill. Pause the video and press the sync button. Now let's look at some video action. We have a bunch of videos synchronized already, so let's go to the filter page. We'll select our middle blocker and see how she looks making kills. We select her from the player list and turn off the other actions except for kills under the earn column. We'll go to the results page, and here's the first action. Pass goes up, set, and a kill. Now we're going to click on the second row, and you notice it's a completely different match. Same thing, set goes up, and there's a kill. You can sort the action rows by clicking on the column titles. Let's try game, and then score. You can sort by any column to get the choices you want. Easily share the results with your players, other coaches, and parents. SoloStats video is powerful yet simple. See your stats and help you and your team gain new insights and play better volleyball.